good YouTube, man? It's Gabe Root, another fan TV, man. Back at you another video. Like the content of this video, go smash that like button. Like the content of this channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, so, uh, knowing the all season, so it's a lot of, um, fake trades and discussion points and things like that going around. So I was scrolling and I saw a discussion about would the Ravens trade uh, Patrick Queen for Chase Young, right? And this came from a Bleach Report article that came out like I think three days ago. Uh, I'll put it up there what the trade was that, that was proposed. It was pretty much that it would be Patrick Queen, a fourth round pick to the commanders for Chase Young, right? And would the Ravens do that? Um, so I think it comes down to a couple of things, right? Would you take potential? Well, what Chase Young could be, or do you say you got the team continuity of Patrick Queen and Roquan Smith? Patrick Queen's on the last year of his deal. Chase Young is coming around that same area too. Um, with Chase Young, we're looking for what's behind this door. We've seen a little bit, but we haven't seen the, the whole thing. With Patrick Queen, we kind of know what we have, right? So if this was purely a Ravens decision, I think the Ravens do pull the trigger and make that move, right? Because, listen, Patrick Queen and Roquan Smith are the are one of at least the top two, three linebacker duels in the NFL, right? No no lower than top three, okay? And that's a great thing to have. Inside linebacker duels is a great thing to have. But if we're talking about the value of an inside linebacker versus the value of a potential game-changing pass rusher, you take the pass rusher, right? Now, that has several implications for the Ravens, Um what does it mean for OA? You know, I think Ojabo, they're going to they really want to see what he has. So he wouldn't really be um, affected by this too much. But what does that really mean for, you know, a guy like, you know, Adafi Owe, right? But as far as just straight up Patrick Queen versus Chase Young, a pass rusher um, is generally more valuable than a linebacker. And that's just how you got to look at it, be quite honest, all right? Um, now, listen, nothing is guaranteed in the NFL, nothing is guaranteed in life in general, but. Um, this has big swing in the midst kind of potential, right? Chase Young could come here and he could be the Chase Young we saw his rookie year, played 15 games, uh, was reliable, a guy that was going to be a dominant uh, edge player for years to come. Or we could get the Chase Young that has been the last two years that has played a combined total of 12 games in the last two years, okay? Um, rookie year, Chase Young had seven and a half sacks. Since his rookie year, he's only had one and a half sacks since then. All right, so it's up in the air. It's, it's, it's a difficult decision. I don't think it's as cut and dry. Um, I think that it's more of, along the lines of what the commanders do it. And that's the part to me where these trades kind of get a little weird because it's like, why would the commanders really make this trade right now? Listen, they want Chase Young on the field. They're probably sick of him not being on the field. Things like that. Injuries happen. Uh, organizations don't tend to be super understanding after a while. They want to see their guy on the field, especially if there's a potential of I got to pay him to talk some type of money, right? All right. But I looked at the commander's roster, right? They just signed Cody Barton, one-year deal, uh, middle linebacker. I think he came from Seattle. So that, that's not really a big deal, right? No issue there. They also got Jamin Davis on the contract. He's like, he got two years left on his rookie deal. But the issue is the fact that what is Patrick Queen's true position, right? Because I looked at um, our, our labs, which kind of shows depth charts and how people are listed, right? <laughs> They got Patrick Queen listed as a well linebacker. And that's and that's correct because he hasn't been able to play Mike because when he did play Mike, it didn't go as smoothly as his transition off the ball, right? Uh, not off the ball, but out of the middle, right? Um, that's why the Ravens brought in a Roquan Smith. So would the commanders bring in Patrick Queen to play Mike linebacker when he hasn't really succeeded at playing Mike linebacker? Because Jamin Davis and Patrick Queen play the same position right now. And they're not moving off of Jamie Davis, right? He got, like I said, he got two years left on his rookie deal. He's in for probably a major role this season. So it just doesn't really make sense for the commanders to do it. I'm going to be quite honest with you, right? Um, Chase Young's trade value probably is low. Uh, but is it low enough to where the fact that you got to trade for a player, give up your, your first round pick? This, Chase Young with a, with a top five pick, top three pick in the draft. Give him up for a player that you got to pay. They, they got to pay Patrick Queen immediately. You ain't no, you're not trading Chase Young for Patrick Queen. Then you're not going to pay him, right? So that's another implication on that. Do you want to pay Patrick Queen to be your inside linebacker, your middle linebacker? Because that comes with a whole heck of a lot of responsibility, responsibility that the Ravens actually removed from him, right? And listen, this is not to take off of 
what Patrick Queen did last year and becoming a better player because he generally became a better player last year. And it was not, oh, well, Roquan is here. He saved the day. That's not what happened, all right? Patrick Queen became a better player several weeks before Roquan Smith showed up, all right? Um, so he is getting better, but he's getting better at the position he's at now where it's not all the responsibilities of being a Mike linebacker. It's just not. So um, I don't know if the, like I said, I don't know if the trade really makes sense for the commanders, but for the Ravens, it makes total sense. I mean, um, we have to think about the kind of guy that you want 10 years for five years from now. I'm I, I, I not doing 10 years. That's, that's too far in the rest. Five years from now, do you want a prime middle linebacker or a prime edge rusher, right? Especially if that middle linebacker, even though he might be in his prime, is he even top five in the league? No, he's not. Patrick Queen's not a top five inside linebacker, right? Um, they got one of those in Roquan Smith. Ravens got one of those in Roquan Smith, right? Patrick Queen's not there yet. He could be one day, but not not right now. Chase Young has the potential to be, even if Chase Young is a top, top 10, top 12 pass rusher versus a top five inside linebacker, you still take the pass rusher, right? That's just where the league is gone. Um, it's just how you have to be able to set the edge and get after the quarterback. Chase Young could do both things when healthy. That's the thing. He hasn't been healthy, though. So um, it's a good back and forth. It's a good idea. It's a good question. But um, at the end of the day, I think it's one of those trades where you see him on Bleach Report. You see him on any of these websites where it's like, yeah, it makes sense for one team to do it, but it really doesn't make sense for the other team to do it, right? Um, the commanders, if they did that trade, a lot of people will probably be talking about how the Ravens fleeced the commanders and ripped them off, right? I would think it would have to be higher than a third or a fourth round pick and maybe maybe a second round pick of kind of how Roquan was last year, you know, something like that. And Patrick Queen on top of that. You know what I mean? Something like that probably maybe gets Chase Young in the building. But a fourth round and Patrick Queen, I don't think that really gets it done. Uh but it is interesting to talk about, right? Because positional value is um where a lot of the analytics stuff is gone is where the game is gone, right? So you got to think about the fact that I know I brought up continuity, right? Patrick Queen knows the defense. He's had, he's building up a rapport, a great rapport with him and Roquan, becoming one of the best inside linebacker duels in the league, as we've mentioned. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, I think they can find somebody to fill that role next to Roquan, um, a solid vet, or maybe even a, a, a younger guy, right? Um, and you get Chase Young in the building right uh football sports in general was a business right and uh patrick queen the ravens didn't pick up his fifth year option he knows that the ravens um are comfortable as of right now of, of letting him probably test free agency they haven't offered him a contract contract extension they haven't done anything like that so as of right now they're comfortable with them saying hey look end of this year you can test free agency and see what it, see what is out there for you like you can go ahead and do that right they chose not to pick up that fifth year option, right? They could spend it. Um, Eric DeCosta could spend it in so many ways. Well, we did it for this reason and that reason. Uh, it kind of locks you up, ties you down. Listen, I get uh, everything he's trying to say, but at the end of the day, you didn't pick up the option, right? And generally, when a team is, doesn't pick up an option for their first round pick, that's kind of a statement, right? It is. And obviously, trading for Roquan Smith last year was kind of a statement, right? I mean, I mean it's not too many teams in the league that have two great inside linebackers and that's great to have um but if it comes down to patrick queen versus chase young you gotta take chase young man that, that's just my opinion on it but like i said at the end of the day trades gotta make sense for both, for both parties and unless the commanders are under immense pressure to get rid of chase young they don't do patrick queen in the fourth round pick for chase young they just don't do that but that's just my opinion on it man give me your guys opinion on it. let me know what you think but i'm gonna get out of here man this gabriel this is the fan tv i'm out